Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Downtown Sunnyvale Eats. My name is Stephanie Yo, and I'm gonna be your host for today. So today, we're gonna enjoy a slice of Mexico here in Downtown Sunnyvale at Roberto's Cantina. Roberto's Cantina is a family-owned establishment that's been serving Mexican cuisine in Downtown Sunnyvale since April 2013, so over a decade now. And today, we're gonna try some of their best dishes. So whether you're watching this on a Tuesday or not, doesn't matter, every day is a day to enjoy tacos and more. And of course, chips and salsa are always complimentary. Okay, all our food is finally here, and we're gonna be starting off with the chicken enchilada and the garnitas tacos. So for the enchilada, you can choose the filling. Today we're gonna have the pollo or the chicken. And look at that. Look at how much chicken is in there. Mm. Inside it's got a lot of chicken and a little bit of queso. Not too much and not too little. All I can say is it's a very simple enchilada, but it really hits the spot. Mm. And they gave us a garnitas tacos to try. Look at how much greens are on there. Oh, and it smells so good. Let's give it a try. A very simple and straightforward taco, but it is so good. What really stuck out to me is how well the grilled onions integrate into this taco. And you don't really think of onions as a main player in a taco, but everything is just incorporated so well in this taco, so really good. All right, now for a main course, we are trying the rajitas poblanas. So this is with chicken, but you can get it with beef, pork, or shrimp. So this comes in a creamy sauce with roasted chilies and onions. I have never had rojas poblanas before, so I'm really excited to give it a try. This chicken rillas poblanas, very flavorful, but not overpowering. It is so good. Also, the cream really helps to cut down the spiciness. So if you're like me, you don't really like spice, this is no problem. Mmm, that is good. I right, also got some, I think these are refried beans as well. So you do get beans and rice with your entrees. This is just so good. Mm. And our final entree is birria de res. So birria is a very well-known Mexican dish and it's quite trendy in the Bay Area as well. Birria is usually made with goat or beef. Here they make it with shredded and roasted beef. So let's give their birria de res a try. Ooh, this looks so good. Oh man, if you're a beef lover, you're gonna love the birria de res. So good. Mm. Also keep in mind, birria is a spicy stew, but here it's not too spicy. So if you don't like spice, don't worry, you'll be fine. Mm. All right, so that's everything that we had at Roberto's Cantina today, and I am stuffed. So what I like about Roberto's Cantina is that it is a casual, no-frill spot. All their dishes here are simple, straightforward, and to the point. I think Roberto's Cantina is a great spot for a casual lunch with your friends or colleagues. So if you're in downtown Sunnyvale and have a hankering for Mexican food, definitely check out Roberto's Cantina.